This is the first international review. I sent a bottle of my peculiar one over to New Mexico so that a friend of mine over there, Shane, could give it a taste and tell me what he thinks. I hope he enjoys it. You got it moving? Oh yeah, you got it on downhill run now. Thanks, Paul. I'm gonna put this, let it settle for a couple more days, and then we'll drink it. Paul, my name is Ken. This is Shane. This is the man you sent the beer to. The English, what is it now? It's a British ale. A British ale. And we really appreciate the time and effort you took into it. Now, this is about our 265th take. Our and the reason why it's taking so long is because he can't seem to keep his words straight. So I'm kind of speaking up forward here, trying to get him relax. Yeah. Rest down a little bit. Need some more beer. Which Needs more. We've already we had. Several, we've been sampling several already, but we're fixing to tap into this big dog here, and we're going to let you know what we think about it. Shane, got anything you want to add in on there, bud? Yeah, this is my first actual international beer. That's I didn't buy from a store. My friend Paul sent this to me. And yeah, we appreciate it. Yes, a lot. It, it took us a while to open it, and we're hoping that I can get it all edited and put it in there on this video so that way everybody can see how big of a Nimrod I am. That's right, and he's really a big Nimrod, but we're working on it and we're trying to do the best we can with it. And now if we get the camera woman not to be laughing at us, we'll be okay. So, as you can see, we got a couple of, they say, I say brandy sniffers, they say brandy snifters. But as you can see, this is mine, that's his. I'm on the short end of the deal again, but we're fixing to uncork this big dog and sample it up. Shane, would you like to do the honors? Well, I'd like to say one thing. This is my I should have figured that. 280th something take here. And we've had to chill this beer down to get it to actual cellar temperature about four times, maybe five times already. And I'm parched. <laughs> so am I. We're out of fat tire, which we have kind of been hitting pretty hard already. Hard, pretty hard. <laughs> pretty hard? Okay, yeah. okay. I'll say pretty hard. You're four to my five. Well, yeah. I mean. Me! You didn't catch what I said. Yes, I oh, did. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, you've been out <laughs> drinking me again. See, I get the short end of the stick again. Yep. And just like to say thank you once again, Paul. Here we go. This is going to be a pleasure, I can tell. I have to excuse my cigarette. Oh, listen at the carbonation coming out. That was a little overplayed. <laughs> no, it wasn't either. I can hear it. Yeah, it about shot the cap out of there. Yes, it did. And pour Ken's first. Ooh. There's a lot of carbonation in that. Yep. Beautiful. And as you can see, <laughs> I got the short end of the stick again. Yep. He pours himself a perfect glass. Mine, oh, uh, kind of run all over the table all over here. the damn table here. Um, well, what do you think of the aroma, Ken? <laughs> the head looks pretty good, especially on yours. Oh, very good. Mmm, mm. that smells really good. It does. It smells really good. Very well. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm fixing a sample of this puppy dog. Go for it. Wow. That smells really good. And of course the bottle is bubbling over here. <laughs> Paul, I think that's an excellent beer. It is. You did a very fine job on that, son. That is great. Look at it. No, there's no carbonation in it. No, no, not no, at all. no uh, not at all. Uh -uh. You didn't hear the damn capital. You mind if I get a little bit more of that? And I'm not going to let you pour it this time. <laughs> this is really. It has very really good color. Good it smells beer. really good. Mmm. That smells really good. 
The true test is if his wife likes it. Out of likes five it. stars? <clears throat> what? The true test is if his wife likes it. Out of five stars, Paul? I gotta give you a five, buddy. I'm kind of with Ken on this This one. came across excellent. This is excellent beer. Man, that is really nice. Good, nice color to it. Might nice the lace. camera girl have a sample for all of her hard efforts? <sighs> now she wants a drink. On top of her southern comfort, this ought to go over real well. That is an excellent beer. It is an excellent beer. Very good. A very good color, and the, even the body is real nice. It's got a very caramely flavor to yeah, it. It's very. It does. You know, pour me a little more here. We need your recipe, Paul. No kidding. I wouldn't mind brewing some of this up myself. And that's fantastic beer. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, after two hours of trying to get a video put together. Two. Well, I'm, what time is it? I'm trying to cut you a little slack. <laughs> I'm not a public speaker, just so everybody knows. And getting the opportunity to open this big dog and sample it, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Like I said, I'll give her five. Wow. I'll give her a five. Yeah. The wife Same gives five. Me. And uh, the wife says a five, too. I'll say a five. Where's the cat? Where's that beer drinking cat at? Cookie, come here. Come sample the beer. <laughs> No, she won't get up there now. She was all over the place a while ago. Oh, that is an excellent beer, Paul. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Thank you very much for sending it to us. If you got any friends back there that says it's not any good, just reach up and slap them in the back of the head because they dang sure don't know what they're talking about. Exactly. Once again, thank you very much. We'll be talking at you later on down the road, bud. We're out. Thank you. Cheers. Definitely sure. Once again, Paul, Thank thanks, you. and we will be talking at you later. If you haven't run across any of this other stuff you want somebody to sample for to give you an honest opinion, you don't. You feel free to ship her on down the highway. Yep. We're and in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Just hit me up on Twitter. And we're looking at trying to get some of our stuff together and ship back to you. Hopefully you'll like it as much as we like yours. Thank you, sir. Thank you.